What's up my fellow YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I, deleted the, I deleted that last video with the clown movies and all the 80s stuff, because uh, I, I guess I bought those clown movies at an impulse, so I'm probably not going to watch them. I actually gave them away, um, plus I don't really see anybody on YouTube really reviewing those kind of films, so I decided to get rid of them, and uh, I guess I was just bored and I bought them and didn't really think much about it, uh, or, did, or didn't think it through. <clears throat> So I'm not going to be reviewing the clown movies, nor do I have them anymore. But I did keep the other films, though, that I showed you in the last video. Uh, the uh, 80s films. So I got some more here. <clears throat> and uh, and let's, not, uh, let's, get, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So uh, I, I've showed you these, uh, a couple of these to you guys before. So the first one we got is called Monster High. This came out in 1989. Uh, it will make you laugh and jump out of your seat. That's the uh, tagline for the back. Monster High. I don't know if you can see the glare. I hope there's not a lot of glare here. Um, that's the cover. Really awesome cover art. I know a lot of people, when they think of Monster High, they think of that you know animated cartoon show. This movie has nothing to do with that show. The show has nothing to do with this movie. They're totally, they're two totally different things. Um, so don't get them confused. Uh, but I know that it can be confusing because when you see the word Monster High, you think of the animated cartoon show. But no, this is a totally, totally different thing. As you can see, it's still brand new. I haven't opened these yet because I'm waiting for all of them to come kind of like at the same time. So, anyway, Monster High. I haven't seen this one yet. I'm dying to watch it. Some people said it's really good. Some people, people said it's really bad. But uh, I want to check it out. So, one more time for that awesome cover art. That's Monster High. Next one we got is Slaughter High, which is a classic gem. I love this one. Um... Marty Majored and Cutting Classmates. This is the Lost Collection uncut version. Uh, I have the Blu-ray as well that Best Drawn just released along with uh, Chopping Mall and Class of 19, 1999 and uh, I'll show those in a minute. So that's Slaughter High. Again, badass cover art. The Blu-ray version cover art looks pretty much the same as the DVD. Uh, they've changed some things uh, but not, not a whole lot. Uh, next we got another, fa another favorite of mine, Chopping Mall. Uh, this one and Slaughter High come out in 1986, I believe. Uh, there's the back of that. Some of the screenshots for you. Got the killer robots there. Uh, where shopping can cost you an arm and a leg. I love that title. Um, again, both of these come out in 86. <coughs> so I love the beautiful cover art as well. Great looking cover art. I have the Blu-rays one of this as well. They changed it a little bit, uh, a little bit, but not too much though. And then we have Class of 1999. Have not seen this yet. If you can see, they're all still brand new. Uh, this one I think came out in 1990. Hired to Teach, Programmed to Kill. Uh, so we got Stacy Keach and Malcolm McDowell, who's a really good actor. He was in a Clockwork Orange, and he played as. Uh, uh, Dr. Loomis and Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2, I think. Yeah, that was him. Uh, class of 1999. Awesome looking cover art. I know it looks like Terminator, but it's not Terminator. It's a totally different thing. But, uh, Class of 1999. That's when I saw a long time ago. I remember it was really good. It's called Return to Horror High. Uh, when George Clooney was, like, really young. School Spirit has never been this, has never been this dead. Uh, as part of the Midnight Madness series. Uh, and the next ones after this are going to be pretty much the Midnight Madness series on them. Uh, there's the back of that. Uh, I remember this one being really good. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I loved it, though. When I first saw the cover art, I was like, oh, the cover art's so cool looking. Uh, with the dead cheerleader on it. Also, you got, uh, Maureen McCormick and Vince Edwards, uh, in this movie as well. And Brendan, Brendan Hughes, Scott Jacoby. Uh, Lori Leffen, Maure Maureen McCormick, Philip McKeown, Alex Rocco, and Andy, Ro Andy Romano. But, uh, anyway, return to Horror High. <clears throat> now we get on to the four newest ones we got here. Uh, also part of the Midnight Madness series. These, these I have not seen at all. Anyway, they, these four actually just came today. And one of them is called Slugs. Um, I'm not sure what year Return to Horror High came out. It didn't say on the bottom. It didn't say on the back. Um, it says 1996, but that's not possible because it looks a lot older than that. Um, 
maybe 82 maybe possibly i'm guessing i don't know it didn't really stay on the back here but um it didn't really stay on the back of this one either what year it came out but uh it's called slugs awesome cover art it says they slime they ooze they kill uh i'm guessing it came out of the 80s i'm, I'm gonna guess that i'm not 100 sure but uh, this looks like a good one cool cover art Hope, it, hope it's good. Uh, we, we, also, we also have another one called Dead End Drive-In. Cool cover art. I heard it's like a horror action or horror sci horror drama and comedy, I think. Or sci or action. I don't know. It looks, it looks cool, though. I think it was directed by the guy who did, uh, I think, Leprechaun 3, I think. Brian Trenchard Smith. Is that the guy, same guy who did Leprechaun 3? I have to double check later, but anyway. Um... The price of the a price of the price of admission is the rest of your life. That's a cool cover. That's a cool uh, tagline. Here's the back of that one. They didn't drive in. Doesn't say what year it came out. I'm gonna guess it's say '89 or so. I could be wrong. Um, next one we got is called Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Cool cover art there. It was look. It looked really appealing. It looked like something out of like Psycho. Again, doesn't say what cover art. Uh, doesn't say what year it came out. Uh, we got Bill Thurman, Anna Campbell, Will Mitchell. Uh, nobody really that I know, but the cover art is is awesome looking. And uh, I guess it came out. I don't really know what came like here. I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything. Uh, and uh, yeah, last one we got is Chud with uh, Daniel Stern, John Hurd, and Christopher Curry. Chud, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. I've been wondering what that stands for. Uh, they're not staying down there anymore. Wait, what does it say? They're not staying... Yeah. They're not staying down there anymore. Cool. Chud. They also have Chud 2 and Chud... I don't know if they have Chud 3, but... They do have a Chud 2, which I heard is kind of hard to find. Or they... It's like a rare... out of print DVD. I don't know. Um, but they all... These all look good. I want to check them out. I'm gonna check out uh, Monster High first, kind of go in order, and then go from there. But I think I have to see my, my favorite two so far, definitely these two. Uh, these are awesome movies. These are definitely worth getting on Blu ray and uh, class of 1999 as well. Here, I'm gonna show you actually the Blu ray version now. Um, I don't know if I'll open the Blu ray, but I'll, 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 I'll go show them right now. So I hope that the transfer is good. If not, then oh well. You can see, <clears throat> see I have the Blu-ray of Slaughter High. This is the uh, Vestron Video Collectors series. Slaughter High. See, it looks slightly different. Chopping Mall, slightly different. Not too much. Class night. Yeah, this looks way different. As you can see, if I hold them up side by side, you can see how uh, the cover art is on not too not too not too much different isn't it uh uh more screenshots on the back actually of the blu-ray uh, as far as special features go uh looks like it has audio commentary with co-writer directors george doug dale and peter Litton. uh audio interview with compar composer harry manfrandini featuring isolated music and sfx selections Featurettes go into pieces with co-writer director Mark Ezra, My Days at Doddsville with actress Carolyn Monroe, alternate title sequence, theatrical trailer, radio spots at Still Gallery, and uh, special features for the DVD version, trivia track, theatrical trailer, full screen presentation, English 5.1, Dolby Digital Audio, English and Spanish subtitles. So nothing, not a really whole, not a whole lot on the DVD, but it looks like you do get more on the Blu-ray, which is cool. Um, other than that, they both, the outside looks exactly the same. And we got Shopping Mall next. Uh, slight difference, not too much different though. Special features for the DVD. Perfecto just talks about the full screen version, Dolby, Dolby 2.0, Dolby, Dolby Stereo Surround, audio commentary with director and co-writer Jim Wynorski and writer Steve Mitchell, building the Killbots featurette, theatrical trailer, photo gallery, that's on the DVD. Uh, on the Blu-ray, director, uh, 
director, I mean, the Blu-ray special features, audio commentaries, director, co-writer Jim Minorski, actress Kelly Monroney, and co-writer, second unit director Steve Mitchell. Historians, authors, Nathaniel Thompson, Mondo Video, and Ryan Turek, Shock to You Drop. Director, co-writer Jim Winorski, and co-writer, second unit director Steve Mitchell. Uh, also has a isolated score track trailer, featurettes Back to the Mall, Chopping, Chopping Mall, The Killbots, Scoring Chopping Mall, The Robot Speaks, The Lost Scene, Ar Lost Scene Army of One, Chopping Mall, Creating the Killbots. So it looks like you get more on the Blu-ray than on the DVD. <clears throat> and then we got Class of 1999, uh, big difference of the outside here. We got the, the DVD looks, definitely looks a lot different than the, you wouldn't even think it's the same movie. Uh, that so on the DVD, uh, nothing pretty much. Yeah, nothing. Uh, Blu-ray special features audio commentary with producer director Mark L. Esther interviews school safety with producer director Mark L. Esther and co-producer Eugene Mazzola. New rules with screenwriter C. Courtney Joyner. Cyber teachers from hell with special features creator Edward Eric Allard and Rick Stratton. Future of Disappointment with director of photography Mark Irwin. The theatrical trailer, TV spots, still gallery, and video promo. So that's the uh, social features for Class of 1999 on Blu-ray. Absolutely jack shit on the DVD. Nothing on the DVD. But the DVD looks definitely looks a lot better as far as the cover art goes. So that's it, guys. Uh, pick these up today if you get a chance. Pick up the Blu-rays as well. Um, uh, Slaughter High... Monster High, Chopping Mall, Class of 1999, Return to Horror High, Slugs, Dead End Drive-In, Mountaintop Motel Basker, and Should. On DVD, boys and girls. Like I said, don't get confused with Monster High, because that's a different movie. But there they are. All 80s good, 80s and early, maybe early 90s goodness for your enjoyment, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Put a like on this video. Put a like if you see what you like here. Please pick up Monster High. Pick up Chopping Mall and Slaughter High. You will not be disappointed. These are great 80s gems. I love these movies. And get the Blu-ray as well. The Blu-ray might be a little bit expensive, but fuck it. Uh, if you want to see these cheesy 80s horror movies in qual good quality, then pick up the Blu-rays of Slaughter High, Class of 1999, and Shopping Mall. Fem robots. Kill them in the mall. Slaughter them to bits. Okay. Alright guys. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.